God provides many things. Welcome, good day and hello to Silent Time, the opportunity to think on what is really important in life. What is your fundamental attitude to the things that you have? For example, to the food that you have. Do you take it for granted or do you think it is your own labor and achievement? Or do you give thanks and praise to the Lord? The same could be taken for all kinds of things we have, for clothes or for a place to live, apartment or a house or a place to stay, or for friends, some people to talk to, friends, family and neighbors and colleagues, or for the freedom that you might enjoy, that you do not need to be persecuted and so on and so on, for all kinds of things. But let's take the example of the food. It already starts with the harvest. Most of us nowadays will not be involved in agriculture and rather buy the things to eat, except those who are doing the agriculture. But the fundamental principle is the same. What is our attitude? If we see the harvest, the fields outside, do we think it is all only man done? Or do we take it for granted? Or do we give thanks and praise to the Lord? Because we have to keep in mind, the devil always wants to destroy. It starts from already from growing the things. He wants to destroy the harvest so that the people go hungry. He wants to destroy our lives, not only our soul, even our bodies. So he wants us to go hungry, to be upset to each other and to destroy and confuse. But praise the Lord and give thanks to him if things go well. Praise the Lord if you can buy all that you want to have, if the harvests go okay, if there is trading and you can buy what you need. And if finally you have a table full of things that you would like. In the Psalm 104, verse 13 to 15, it says, From the sky the prayer praises the Lord. From the sky you send rain on the hills and the earth is filled with your blessings. You make grass grow for the cattle and plants for us to use, so that we can grow our crops, and produce wine to make us happy, olive oil to make us cheerful, and bread to give us strength. So let's praise the Lord, for example, with Psalm 147, verses 12 to 14. Praise the Lord, O Jerusalem, praise your God, he keeps your gates strong, he blesses your people, he keeps, keeps your borders safe and satisfies you with the finest wheat. He gives a command to the earth and what he says is quickly done. Let's always remember the Lord and give praise and thanks to him. Lord, we thank you for all that you give. We praise your holy name and we thank you, that all that you for all that you provide for all the harvest that is available and that can grow, that is not destroyed by any means. We thank you for the freedoms that are there, for all that you provide in our lives, for a place to stay, for clothes, for friends, family, people to talk to, for all that you provide. We are sorry where we take things for granted and please forgive us where we think it is all only our own achievement. Forgive us where we do not give you the praise and the thanks that you deserve. Thank you for your love and for your mercy, for your gratefulness. We pray that you guide us through this life towards your eternal kingdom, where we praise your holy name forever. Amen.